Greetings viewers, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a picture collage using Keynote and Unsplash. And remember this graphic that you're going to create is going to help you remember your passphrase. Now what we see here, this is an example that I made earlier on. Okay, it's not actually complete yet. So I've got two pictures here. I've got one for Indonesia on the left and another one for chocolate. So this is just to use as an example in terms of how the graphic should look. What we're gonna ask you to do this morning though is instead of adding two images and two pieces of text, we're gonna get you to add three images and three pieces of text. Okay, so let's get ready to do that. So I'm gonna minimize that window. Uh, in fact, I'll close this one here. Okay, and then the first thing I want you to do is to go to this website and then we'll come back to it in a second. It's called Unsplash. You are going to get all your images from this website. Next, what I want you to do is to open up Keynote. Okay, so Keynote is just like PowerPoint and we're going to create our graphics in that. When you open up Keynote for the first time, I need you to click on my presentation and then white. So this one here. And then I'm gonna go and expand the window and then I'm gonna to go to the top left here and I'm gonna select where it says zoom and then select 75%. And then I'm gonna get rid of these two text boxes. I don't want anything in there. Finally, I'm gonna click on uh, view and I'm gonna to go to show presenter notes. Okay, we'll get into that later on. So we're ready, this is our blank canvas and we're ready to start creating our graphic, our uh, collage graphic. So, Let's go back to Unsplash. Now remember, you should have at least three images that you thought about or three items that you thought about that you have a deep personal connection to. And remember, we're gonna use those for that passphrase. So for me, one of them is Ubud and it's a rice field uh, in Ubud. So you can see I haven't just typed one thing here. I put in three keywords, okay? And then I'm gonna search for it. Just click in the magnifying glass there or press return on your keyboard and then you can go through. Now it doesn't have to be the first image you see or even the third, the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and so on. You can scroll down, take your time. Look for an image that you also associate or start to build up a strong connection to. And I absolutely love this image. I've actually been to this particular area here. Okay, so once you find your image, there's two things you need to do. First of all, you're going to download. Don't click on download free, click on the down arrow beside that and then select small. Okay, that's gonna download a small version of that image, okay? So, you can see once it starts to do that, it's, it'll give you this save as box. Now, this is a really long name, file name, and we don't wanna use that. Instead, we're gonna use the word that we're gonna use as the text in our uh, graphic. So for me, that would be Ubud, okay? I've also selected the desktop to save it onto, and then I'm gonna click save, all right? Okay. So you can see it's downloaded here, all right? I also want you to copy and paste this here, this text. This text, um, we're gonna use it in our uh, notes slide, uh, notes part of the slide, and just to thank the author or the photographer for you know using his image or her image. So I'm gonna copy that. We have our image saved here. We have the attribution text here. So we're gonna go to Keynote. First of all, I'm just gonna put in here, Ubud photo and then a dash, and I'm gonna press Command V just to paste that in, okay? Now, actually when I look at this, it's just too much. That's, um, it's copied across too much. So I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna go back to uh, Unsplash here, and I'm gonna copy it by selecting on it like this. Okay, and then press Command C to copy. And then I'm gonna go back into Keynote here, back into the Note section, and then press Command V. Okay, that's much better. And then I'm gonna get the image in here. So how do we do that? Well, I'll show you one way, and maybe you could try to figure out all these other different ways you can do it. Before I copy this image across, I'm gonna go back to Keynote. I'm just gonna make the window a little bit smaller. Okay, so it's just easier to work with. And then I, I can still see my image down here. So I'm gonna left click and drag it, and then go to Keynote. Okay, still holding the left mouse button or on the trackpad, keep your finger down, and then just release, okay? And it drops it in. So you're gonna to need to resize it, 
Okay, so about that. Remember, you have to fit three images in here. So it should take up roughly like a third to a half of that slide, depending on the size of the image. Okay, this one is actually um, not that wide, so from left to right, but the height is perfect. Okay, we might have to edit it though. So what you're going to do after you put the first image in, we want you to go and get those other images. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more images here, and I'll just fast forward through it. Now you can see here, this image is a little bit wide. So what I'm gonna do, cause I'm not gonna be able to fit another image on the right here. I'm gonna crop this particular one. Okay, so I'm gonna remove some of it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is select the image first of all, and then go to image over here and then select edit mask. And then from there, just drag this bit in a little bit like so, like so then move it across and that is perfect. Okay, and then, yep, let's go back, fast forward this part for you. Okay, now the image is ready. Well, almost ready. We just need to add the text as well. Okay, so we have the three images, one, two, three, and also the three attribution piece uh, text at the bottom here to add in our text. Let's maximize that screen. And then select T for text, and then drag that first one across. Now you have to basically add a piece of text, each one, and that text should be the word for your passphrase. And this is a practice passphrase, okay? I'm gonna select this first one here, and I'm gonna put in Ubud. And you can see that it is impossible to read. Well, at least it's impossible to read for me. So I selected it again there, and then select text. So we're gonna change the color. Okay, I'm gonna change the color down here, click the color wheel, and then select another color. Again, it's not that easy to read. Uh, in fact, for these, I might just move them all down to the bottom left, and that's okay. If you wanna keep them in the top, and you want that color, you can see you can't quite read it, there's a couple of things you can do. That would be uh, maybe go to style, for example, and then select one of the predetermined styles, that's okay. Or if you wanna play around with the other color fills as well, you can do that, okay, until you find something you want. There's other things you can look at too, like you can add a borderline, Okay, you can change the thickness there. But one thing you must do, if you have the text, as you can see here in the top left, the other two text boxes also need to be in the top left. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. And now I have finished my photo collage. This will help me remember my passphrase, okay? Remember, it is a practice one, so yes, we wanna see your work today. You should go ahead and create another one in your own time and then use that as a reference guide to help you remember your passphrase. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.